Hello, my name is Branislav Novak. I'm from Novi Sad, which is one of the biggest IT cities in Serbia. I'm currently employed as junior software engineer in RTRK Automotive Company. I have bachelor degree with honors in electrical and computer engineering and currently I'm on a master studies on same topic on faculty of technical sciences in Novi Sad. I'm here to present you my first science and research paper, which I put together in a cooperation with my colleagues Velibor Ilic and Bogdan Pavkovic. The topic I'm about to present you is YOLO V3 algorithm with additional convolutional neural network trained for traffic sign recognition. Motivation behind this research is daily advancement and expansion of the technology possibilities where in this specific case automotive industry represents one of the most interesting. It is clear that automotive industry requires development of artificial intelligence with the goal of making vehicle which is totally independent from human. Machine learning as an area of artificial intelligence is involved in designing computer systems which learn how to behave in a new situation based on previous experiences without explicit programming. The most widely used method of machine learning is artificial neural network. So the goal of this paper is to explain how we manage to reach our objective and implement algorithm which combines the all of the three algorithm and two separate convolutional neural networks to detect traffic participants and then classify traffic signs. The CNN for traffic sign recognition consists of five convolutional blocks, where each of them has a layer for constructing attributes using parametrized filters located in each of them, which is convolutional layer, and a layer for aggregation, which is used for transformation of outputs from the previous ones. Each convolutional block is followed by serial normalization, which creates mutual independence of the layers. Thus, each layer learns for itself and leaves no room for adjustment. After the last convolutional block, an alignment is done so that the interpretation of the image can be continued through a fully connected classification block. It has four completely connected layers, with a different number of neurons, where the last one represents output possibilities. After receiving traffic sign image as an input, model is able to quickly provide output information which represents its prediction on what that traffic sign is. For this particular model, traffic sign predictions possibilities are divided into three groups, informational, warning and prohibition signs. In addition to that, billboards are also included as part of the set. The dataset size and the image labeling is very important for each neural network and the training process of the same. Initially used datasets are Belgium TS dataset and the German traffic sign recognition benchmark. Image data augmentation was very successful for expansion from 40,000 to 120,000 images. Labeling arises from training and set directory organizations. Each sign class and type has its own identification number and its own CSV file, which stores all the information needed to load images, which will further be used for training. Numbered images represent each type for signs, but each sign from dataset by itself represents sign class. With this model, we recognize already mentioned four types and 75 traffic sign classes. YOLO V3, as one of the main competitors for the best object detector nowadays, is based on CNNs and it shows outstanding results in object detection tasks while achieving real-time response rate. We trained YOLO V3 to detect only five classes of objects which are the most common in traffic activities – cars, trucks, pedestrians, traffic signs and traffic lights. With that, for each detected traffic sign we fed our CNN for both type and class recognition. Their output is combined and printed in the same frame in the left top corner next to the boundary box provided by YOLO. Above it, we print percentage which represents the accuracy of both CNNs. Here we represent model accuracy and model loss for each CNN through their iterations of training. 
As shown on diagrams, traffic sign type CNN was trained for 20 epochs and by each iteration gave invaluable results where at the end we reached 99.84% accuracy. The other one, traffic sign class CNN, was trained for 50 epochs and we were able to reach a bit lower accuracy of 99.28%. Since it has more output neurons, because we have more classes than types, this behavior was expected. In summary, time spent for training of both CNNs was about 20 hours. On this slide, we wanted to present you the main errors we received for both sign type and sign class recognitions. As visible on input images, they all have either the similar sign color and lines as the predicted ones, or they have some noise which makes CNN accuracy much lower. One of the most common things that can affect front camera input image quality is car speed. Knowing that, it was expected that our input video will probably have some false predictions since the angle of the sign on image can also affect the accuracy. This solution by itself doesn't give us a chance to control vehicle speed by following prohibition speed sign, although that functionality will be favorable for improving accuracy in real time. That can be one potential further development idea where we'll integrate this algorithm in already existing autonomous vehicle control system. Finally, we were able to test our algorithm on a video recorded on streets of Navisad. That provided us some feedback on how good was our understanding of initial problem and how well did we design our CNNs with whole algorithm composition. On this particular frame from video, we can see that all traffic participants are detected and that our algorithm for traffic sign classification did a good job by predicting with high accuracy. Also, it is visible that YOLO has problem with detecting billboards as a traffic signs, and that our extension of dataset for classification did a very good job by separating them visibly from all other traffic signs. At the end, as view of further development actions, I can point out that the real-time traffic sign classification can be improved by introducing some other simple algorithm for image processing or to use a whole different machine learning method instead of CNNs. In short, to use algorithms that don't require a lot of resources as they do. Also, Dataset extension will provide better training, which will give output predictions with higher accuracy for whole algorithm, including YOLO. This presented topic is one of the most popular nowadays, and we wanted to give a shot in deeper analysis, which brought us to this simple but strong algorithm. As technology is progressing, we'll give our best to keep up with it, and each time invest more time to bring this whole stunning AI topic to the next level. To wrap it up, I want to thank my colleagues that work with me on development of this algorithm and of course to all you listeners who stayed till the end and found this one interesting. Wish you all the best. Goodbye.